Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to handle generic faults using default fault rule in Apache Edge. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic concepts of Apache API proxy as well as fault rules. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's see how it works. As you know, in Apache Edge, when you create an API proxy, it is divided into proxy endpoint and target endpoint where you can do API management. Whenever a fault occurs in proxy endpoint, fault rules will get executed in the proxy endpoint and you can able to handle the faults by executing some policies. Whenever none of the fault rule matches the condition, then you can able to define a default fault rule. You can also force execute a default fault rule even if one of the fault rule executes. You can also do that you always enforce condition in default fault rule. Similarly, you can able to implement the default fault rule in target endpoint too to handle some generic errors that are happening at the target or target endpoint side. Let's see it in action how it works. Let's create a simple API proxy to demonstrate the default fault rule concept. Click on API proxies, click on plus proxy button and choose reverse proxy, click next. I'm going to name the proxy as default fault rule demo1 and give the existing API as uh, HTTP bin.org then click next choose path through click next choose defaults build and deploy let's uh, access the api proxy to see the proxy endpoint using which you can able to call the backend service so this is a proxy endpoint i can able to make a simple api call like status slash 400 uh, and the http backend http bin.org will just return the 400 Let's say if you want to handle the faults, you can able to do it in the target endpoints by implementing the fault rules. Let's implement the fault rules to see the default fault rule in action. So I'm going to implement a couple of fault rules to handle error messages 400 and 401. As you can see, I have defined two fault rules, bad 400 and odd 401, where I'm handling 400 and 401 response codes from the backend. Let's say uh, there are some other error that is happening in the backend and you want to give a generic message saying that uh, please contact uh, uh, our support with the support uh, email address or probably point to the contact page in the doc site. Let's see how to do that. You can able to do that using default fault rule. You can define the default fault rule after the fault rules. As you can see, we have just defined a simple tag default fault rule name is equal to df rule and then closing tag. So this will get executed if none of the conditions matches here. Let's create uh, three JavaScript policies that will get executed in these fault rules to demonstrate how default fault rule works. Let's create three JavaScript policies. Click on policies, click on plus and create three JavaScript policies. Let's update these uh, JavaScript files with a simple print message to see the policy execution in action. I'm going to say print uh, error 400 and then in the 401 print error 401. On the default policy, we're going to say, since we don't know what is error, we'll just say, please contact API team at example.com. Let's attach these uh, policies in the respective fault rules. So we're going to do that using step conditions. As you can see, we just added uh, df 400 to the 400 fault rule and 401 to the 401 fault rule and uh, default policy to the default fault rule. Let's save the uh, API and see it in action. Click on trace session once API is saved, start the trace session. So we are going to first make an API call to the 400. Now you should see the 400 uh, error message in the console. If I make an API call to the 401, then you will see the message error 401. There you go. And if you make an API call to other than 400 or 401, let's say it's 403, then the default fault rule will get executed. As you can see here in the trace console, you should see default fault rule getting executed. There you go. Please contact API team at example.com. One edge case to the default fault rule is always enforced using which you can able to force execution of default fault rule even if uh, one fault rule gets executed. You can able to do that using always enforce tag inside the default fault rule. Click on save to see it in action. Click on trace and restart the trace session. Let's do an API call to 400. Now what happens is both uh, the default rule 400 and the default fault rule will get executed because the reason is we have enforced the default fault rule using always enforcing condition. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in company.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.